here with men's hockey coach Bill Moore. Coach, you open up your season finally after uh, a lot of work and a lot of uh, early season stuff. Open up this weekend at the MIC Showcase. Talk a little bit about uh, about your team, what we can expect from the Cardinals. Well, I guess we're, we're still up in the air a little. It's really nice that we've got a lot more talent this year, and uh, but they're all young. So uh, we've got a good, solid core of returners of about four, five or six guys, and then we got about 14, 15 freshmen, and we got a lot of guys that don't have a lot of experience at the college, at the collegiate level, but they're, they've got a lot of uh, junior hockey experience. So we're excited. Uh, pace of practice has been tremendous. The attitude in the locker room, on the ice, off the ice has been wonderful. Um, we're very, very excited to, to see what we have. Talk about uh, some of the leadership from some of the upperclassmen. Obviously, your two captains, Vince Uncle, Uncles Bay and Tommy Healy, and your alternate captains, Ben Kitzmiller and Nate Peterson. They've got a lot of work ahead of them in terms of, of leading a very young team. Absolutely, and they're, and they're very, very good players. So the first thing they have is in their corner is the fact that they are, can lead by example. Um, our, Tommy Healy, Vince Uncles Bay, and... Um, and um, Kitsy and, and Petey will will log a lot of ice time. They'll they'll be power play guys. Um, when we put them put uh, Vince and um, Tommy with Kevin Wentland, uh, that'll be our first line. And it's good to have a solid group of returners that have played that we can depend on. Uh, Tommy Healy played last year, but he didn't play at 100%. He was hurt most of the year. Probably played 65 to 70 percent of of his capabilities. Uh, Jimmy Becker is going to be awesome to have back net this year, coming off of last year's situations with injuries and things like that. Um, so not only do we have a lot of new players, but we also have some guys that were not healthy that didn't play last year. And so we're, we're very excited. And obviously you're pretty solid in the nets with Jason Horseman back, all uh, honorable mention all-conference last year, and Andy Scheib. So we're pretty solid between the pipes. We are very solid between the pipes. Uh, we feel confident in either one of the goaltenders to play. Our third goalie is Sean Muller, and, and he's working hard. And But everybody knows that we're going to rely on Scheib and Horseman uh, to be back there. We've got a solid defensive core with, again, Kitsy and PD and Blake Zemitis and uh, and then three freshmen are coming in and and Bo Brown and so we're we're solid back there. We we do need to see if we can put some pucks in the net and you know we brought in over 200 points in the north from the North American League and th from the junior leagues last year. So we're hoping that we can convert some of those points into NCAA points. Talk a little bit about this weekend. Obviously, it's it's nice to get on the ice and play somebody other than wearing the red and white. Uh, you open up with, with Augsburg uh, Saturday night, and then you play Gustavus on, on Sunday. Talk a little bit about those first two games. Well, it's going to be a good test for us because we got a tough draw. I mean, Augsburg right now, in my opinion, we rank them to be the number one team in the conference this year. Gustavus has been in the national tournament the last two years, reaching the semifinals in one year and the finals in another year. So we got a tough draw, but it's a good time for us to see where we're at and where we measure up. So we think we're going to catch some people by surprise, but the downside of that is is that when we do play well up at the showcase from the rest of the season, we're not going to catch anyone by surprise. So six to one half a dozen yards, but we're very, very excited to get on the ice. Sounds good. Saturday against Augsburg, Sunday against uh, Gustavus up in Blaine. Good luck. Thanks.